conference battles. Always fun. This time, it's the San Antonio Spurs intent on protecting home court. This game against Sacramento is the first time they've met this year. They were able to sweep the season series last year, completely controlling the play in each game. And as you'd expect, I mean, this was a, a lopsided season series a year ago. And now the State Farm starting lineup. Here's a look at the Sacramento Kings. They've got Jimmer Fredette. He's out there with DeMarcus Cousins. Then it's Salmons, and it's Evans, and at the two-guard spot. And for San Antonio, Manu and Jefferson on the wings. Blair and Duncan down low. And it's Parker in at the one. Now here's Duncan. Knocks it loose. The reaction was so quick. Incredible defense. Salmons against Parker. Now for Dead. Just five on the clock. Over Ginobili. Rebound by Tony Parker. Those games, not too pretty, but nobody expected Clark anything different. No, I agree, Kevin. It's not a big upset when a team from the bottom gets swept like they did. Back to Duncan. Over Cousins. Shot is off. And the Kings the other way. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. And here's Fredette. About 16. Nice D from Duncan. Demarcus Cousins, on talent alone, Kevin, I mean, he might have gone number one in last year's draft. He's skilled, he's big, he's strong, good feet. But there were legitimate concerns about his maturity. That's why he slipped to number five. Here's Parker. Outside Jefferson. Now here's Parker. He dishes it to Ginobili. Lets it go with a three. Fredette grabs the miss. Well, Clark talking about the questions on DeMarcus Cousins' maturity. Steve, those were borne out somewhat last season. Yeah, we heard a lot of stories about Cousins coming out of Sacramento. You know, that he butted heads with both teammates and coaches. They fined him several times, benched him, even threw him out of practice. So, for DeMarcus, it's, it's all about uh, maturity. Clark is right. I mean, he's got the talent, uh, but can he grow and develop uh, into an impact player and, and a leader in that locker room? Doris Burke caught up with Coach Greg Popovich. Doris? Kevin, he talked about the sense of familiarity his players now have with each other, saying they have such a great feel for one another. They know if they just get to the right spot on the floor, the ball will be there. Guys? Good report, Doris. Well said. Thanks. A, an interesting thing to address before the game. Yeah, you know, the priority of most coaches is not shooting. I mean, that's really way down the priority list in terms of what a coach might talk about. Steve? Well, you don't want to focus on makes and misses because uh, that puts pressure on the players. But clearly, you got to put the ball in the hoop. And I think tonight, uh, making shots from the outside is going to be really key. You know, a recipe for disaster, Kevin, is letting him get that free near the basket. Well, such a disciplined team, the Spurs, and you know, the core of their defensive plan is to force contested jump shots. No layups, no free throws. They just want teams to have to shoot from the outside. Now here's Jefferson. Goes up the baseline. And that's just one of their first four field goals to begin this game. Now here is Fredette, covered by Parker. Here's Fredette, covered by Parker. Fredette kicks to Evans. Can't get it to go. Well, the Spurs will take it the other way. You talk about the Spurs forcing contested shots, Steve, from outside. One key, Clark, they didn't foul. Yeah, and that's one of the keys to being able to, one, play effective defense, 
but also to be able to get into transition because when you're not fouling, the rhythm and pace of the game has a way of finding its own level, and the Spurs very good at that. They challenge shots without fouling, but it also allowed them to be able to play this up-tempo game they wanted to play, you too. Know, one of the great stories is last offseason, Popovich got his staff together. They took a lot of views of their own play from the year before they looked at a lot of european tape and they just thought you know we got to play more of a european style they didn't want the game to stop like you said they want the game to continue to go and get in that rhythm yeah exactly big part of their success now for dead following the three-point attempt by tony parker for dead gets whistled for a loose ball foul that is his first foul of the game well, he was boxed out, nowhere to go. So, uh, poor choice in going over the bat. You said it exactly. He didn't have good position. Give up on the play, try to get the next one. Leonard, he's check in for Tim Duncan. San Antonio trailing here. Here's Parker. Looking for his first bucket of the game. Jefferson dishes to Leonard. Backs down. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. You know, you watch workouts and you look at the numbers on Kawhi Leonard, and he doesn't stand out and blow you away, but he can hoop. So going back to Leonard, Steve, he does things that won't show up in workouts. I think that's the key with Leonard is just his ability to get loose balls and, and, and rebounds and extra possessions. He's not going to wow you with his offensive skill, uh, but, but he's a good athlete. And, and, and strong and physical, and he can be really scrappy. That's going to be the key for him going forward. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. And the Spurs with possession. Parker outside. Here's Ginobili. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. A few unsuccessful trips in a row, and we're still not it up. One thing that Popovich doesn't get enough credit for is how he handles the minutes of his players. He really massages those well. He never overuses his guys over the course of a season. Hickson with the bucket. Here's Parker. It's stolen by Hickson. And here's the fast break. Shoots the three. They get it back. Outside for Thomas. And there's the feed to Thornton. Three-pointer. And that one's good. Honeycutt's got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. Clark, that's a great point going back to Pop and the way he uses minutes with his team is players you know Steve the Spurs usually have fresh legs come playoff time well yeah but uh, last season didn't help the argument you know normally uh, Pops teams have kind of eased their way through the regular season saved it for the playoffs but last year they exploded uh, to that uh, that big win total and then they lost in the first round they did look tired so uh, I don't know maybe a different approach for the Spurs this year Matt Bonner he's checked in for San Antonio splitter comes in for Richard Jefferson Kings leading now by five. Thomas with the ball. Leonard picks him up. Fires from deep. Another three for Sacramento. He loves operating in that kind of space. And here comes Parker. Trailing here by eight. He's guarded by Thomas. Honor for three. San Antonio again missing. This has been a strong statement by them, the way they've come out and attacked the glass early. Yeah, I agree, Clark. I, I love the physical play, the fact that they're taking the game right to their opponents. Thomas kicks to Honeycutt. Over splitter. And there are the Kings with another bucket. Beautiful there. They're trying to pull away. Well, with smart basketball, little by little, they're building on their lead here. Here's Parker. Nails it from eight feet. Terrific shot there. He had a taller defender on him, but he created just enough space to get the jumper up inside. Oh, Thomas. He's picked up by Parker. 
Pulls up on the elbow. And again, it's Sacramento converting. Well, thanks to some good shooting, they're off to a nice lead here. Well, they hit the ground running, Steve, from the tip-off, I mean, and they've yet to slow down. Now here's Ginobili. It's a 10-point game. Over Thomas. Ginobili can't hit. You know, you see some, some of the inconsistency in regards to his shooting. I mean, that last shot, I think that's preventing him from taking his game to the next level. Inconsistency on that kind of shot. Here's Thomas. Leonard picks him up. Six to shoot. Horton for three. And another three for Sacramento. They have wasted no time building this lead. They've been solid at both ends. Yeah, they look really focused and ready. Intense, together, composed. I mean, they've been hot out of the gate. Bonner, he's covered by Thompson. Ginobili with the three. And good on the basket. Look it. Ginobili's got his first three points of the game. Here's Thomas. And here's Thornton. No good on that last second attempt there. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Kings lead by 10.